Hey guys, so as promised, I told you I would show you how to make squash that you can fry. So I make squash two ways. I make squash that you can fry up, and I also can squash for casseroles, or, you know, anything like that, that you're gonna, you know, be putting into something. The casserole squash is canned differently. It's in the pressure cooker, pressure canner, not cooker. Those are two different things. It, you do it in the pressure canner, and the squash that we fry, we water bath it, okay? And there's two reasons. They're totally different recipes, all right? So if you want to make squash for casseroles, the recipe is on my website. Go check it out at ourlittlebitofearth.com, and you'll be able to find the squash recipe for the casseroles. And I can link it below as well. So this is what your squash is going to look like. This is squash for frying, okay? And this, we're water bathing today. So this is gonna be quick and easy. I've cut the squash in two ways. You cut it like this or cut it like this. It doesn't matter how you cut it, whatever you prefer. Um, and the thickness is totally up to you. I didn't use my mandolin, so they're all kind of, you know, a little different as far as that goes. We're water bathing, so make sure that you sterilize your jars. And um, and that's about it, so let's get going. So I got my jars ready, my squash is cut. Now on the stove, I have my lids and water. <laughs> you gotta boil your lids, or you gotta heat your lids up. They will seal much better if you heat your lids up. Um, I, I don't know what they're doing with lids these days, but the failure rate is like climbing here. So definitely heat your lids up. Okay, so the recipe for this is eight cups of water. Now, my recipe recipe is 16 cups, but I didn't have enough squash to make that, so I had to dial it down a little. So eight cups of water, a half a cup of vinegar, and one teaspoon of salt, okay? So I have four cups of vinegar already on the stove right here. I'm gonna add four more cups to it. Okay, I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. I had white vinegar out, but I always use apple cider. I was just, I just got finished doing a video on canning banana bread. So I just grabbed the white vinegar, but I always use apple cider. It doesn't matter, it's just a preference. You can use white vinegar, it's, you know, it's fine. So a half a cup of vinegar. and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, all right. So we're gonna just kind of let that do its thing real quick. Come back up to a boil. I, you guys, I wish you could be in my kitchen today because the, the banana bread smells amazing. All right, we're gonna just load our jars up. I did 12 wide mouth quart jars yesterday. My family loves fried squash. My husband loves anything squash. I mean, it's probably one of his, it's his favorite garden veggie. So I did fried green tomatoes and he does not care for those. So he was happy when he seen the squash was canned up. And I don't even think I have enough for all these jars, but hopefully our garden will do well and make sure, you know, I don't think I should have to say this, but make sure you wash, make sure you wash your squash and just clean, clean it up a little bit. Now I'll keep that there. I might have, this might fit in mine. Let's see. What? 
I am dropping it everywhere. I got lots of videos to make today, so I'm trying to get in a whole bunch while I can. All right, so now we are going to add the hot water and the vinegar and salt. And then this will go into a water bath canner. And the reason this can be water bath is because it has vinegar. Now, when I do the squash for the casseroles, I do not add vinegar. So for that, I, um, I pressure can it. So this is really, really simple, y'all, and it's so good. And just like the tomatoes, all you have to do is you just go and you rinse these off and then you, you fry them up. And it's just a way to have squash all throughout. And let's be honest, who does not have an abundance of squash like we all have an abundance of squash every year in our garden no no we love our squash cast our squash our fried squash all right you want about a half inch head space We're going to take these out, put our lids on, finger tight. Normally, I always put my lids and stuff in the oven, but I have banana bread in the oven canning right now, so I could not do that. Okay, all right, so now I'm just gonna put these in a water bath canner, bring it to a boil. You wanna bring it to a nice rolling boil, and then you wanna start your timer and let them go for 10 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and this, again, is what it looks like when it's all done, and it's wonderful. So. Thanks for joining me. Y'all go can up some squash. Bye.